We now focus on the insecurity that continues to dog parts of the North Rift. Security sources say officers stationed in some of the affected areas are underfunded and lack resources to pursue bandits who roam the region. Uh, during a visit to the area, a Citizen TV uh, was told of demoralized officers, even as residents called on the government to deal firmly with the spiraling insecurity. Baringo North Sub-County Commissioner Obwacha Bobwacha, however, says the police are in hot pursuit of bandits. Here's more on that from Hassan Bugambi. Insecurity along the borders of Baringo North and Tiati constituency is worsening by the day. With schools closed, tension remains high as gun-wielding bandits take villages hostage. The situation getting out of hand. Anti-stock theft unit deployed in the area now saying they're unable to tackle the heavily armed bandits. Reason, this armored vehicle broke down months ago. APC. Kama kuna askari ndani, watu wa kopa, wanasu kufugusa wakora, wawesu kushika hawa. Na hiyo machine yetu hapa sasa imelala kwa miyesi chui ngapi. Tuzuye na muna gani, huyo mwizi. Eh? Diyo tuweze kuchunga mali yenu. Eh? Na nyinyi mweza kupata, hii ndio mali munauza. Citizen TV has established that the broken police armored personnel carrier has now become a shelter for chicken reared by police officers in Chemoy camp making their operations nearly impossible. This giving a leeway to bandits to roam the Tiati wilderness freely. <laughs> to worsen the sorry state of government machines in the area, police vehicles lack fuel most of the times as they source fuel from Nakuru a distance of 300 kilometers. Sources told Citizen TV that the region has been allocated 450 liters of fuel every month to conduct security patrols along the vast volatile borders of Baringo and Elgeyo Marakwet County. Now I have got a little bit of mafuta, either in Akuru or Meldoret. Kumanisha, mafuta yote itaisha barabara. Police reservists deployed in the area claim they have not been paid their monthly allowances since September last year, with each officer entitled to a 5,000 shilling monthly stipend. Despite the challenges faced by police, Baringo North Sub-County Commissioner Obwacha Bobwacha said they have already identified bandits' hideouts in Tiati. It is a matter of time before they nail them. Sentiments echoed by Water Cabinet Secretary Simon Chelugui. Are some of the hot spots we know. This county of Baringo, in terms of drought, in terms of insecurity, we have continued to face these problems. We are addressing at the top, but we also need to address this problem at home. This comes in the wake of renewed bandit attacks leading to loss of life, destruction of property and livelihoods. On Monday, four schools were closed in Arabal area of Baringo South after armed bandits attacked several villages Sunday night, injuring at least two people. 35 cattle were driven away. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.